hello guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is uh, it's going to be how to call two step kissing painting i'm going to be showing you guys an easy method of how to call two step kissing painting so let's get to it so what you need you need your fabric and you need your paper what you are seeing here is a net it's a peplum net it's not a gum stain it's a peplum net you use it on a peplum on a kissing plenty it gave it this fine look so that is what we are going to be using on our kissing plenty so first of all i will be cutting the damp part of our blouse which is the kissing plenty i'll be cutting it out so this is six years of Ankara fabric is a Hollandis. It's a Hollandis fabric that we'll be using to cut this our kissing plenty blouse. We'll be using this Hollandis wrapper to cut straight skirts, our pencil skirts. I will be dropping that video very soon. And we'll also, also be using it to cut our kissing plenty blouse. So watch as I'm going to do it. So first of all, what I need is the measurement of the blouse. The measurement is the half length of this blouse is 16. While the boss is 44, the waist is 40, and the blouse length is 26. So what I need now, I'm going to minus the half length from the blouse length. What it gave me is what I'm going to use to cut the down part. The blouse length is 26 minus 16. It's going to give me 10. So that's what I'm going to use to cut this 10 out now. So now I'm not going to cut it as a peplum. I'm not going to cut it as a peplum. I'm going to cut it straight. Then I will use, I will also cut this peplum net straight. I will sew it on it. Then I'll start using it for my kissing printing. That's what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to cut it now. The waist measurement is 40. That 40, I'm going to times it by 2. I will times that 40 by 2. It's going to give me 80. So I'm going to cut 80 out. I'm going to cut the length will be 80. Why the width will be 10. So what I will be doing now, I will cut 80. I'm going to cut length. I'm going to cut length 80. 80 by 10. Then I'm going to add one and a half inch seam allowance, making 80 by 11 and a half. That is what I'm going to do. So watch me as I as I cut it now. Hey guys, as you can see, I've already cut our fabric. I have cut our kissing printing fabric. So this is what we'll be using for the kissing printing. This is the, this is length 80 because the the waist length is 40. So that 40, I got times it by two, and that gave me 80. So that 80, I cut, I cut 80. And so this thing that you are seeing now is 80, and I add two inches allowance, join it, making 82. So that is what I did here. So the same, the length that I, the length of this fabric, I also went ahead and used it to cut this peplum net. I also went ahead and cut this peplum net. The same length that you are seeing here, that is what is also here. I cut the same thing out. So I also went ahead again and cut this line. The same length that you are seeing here is what I also have here in this line. I'm going to be using this line to tone it up. So this is the, so we are sewing two step kissing plenty. We are sewing two step kissing plenty. So that kissing plenty, this one is the one that will be the damp part. The length that you are seeing here now is 11 and a half. 10 inch is what I need. I need 10 inch. 10 inch is what I need. And I add, let's see, I add almost two inch for the turning of the lining and the seam allowance, making everything here is 12. So that is what I have. This is the first, this is the second kissing printing. So this is the length of our kissing printing. This is what I will be using to, to make a kissing print. So I will use this one. This is the first kissing printing. As I have the one I showed you before, that one is the second one. Why is so this one will be the one to be this one will be the this is going to be the up one. I'm going to make a kissing plenty with this one. This one is going to be the up one. Why the one that I showed you before is going to be the second one. So I also went ahead and cut the length of um, this. What, what you are seeing here is a peplum net. I cut the same thing that you are, the same, the same length of this fabric is also the same length of this paper, this peplum net. The same thing I also cut at the line. I also cut the same length. Okay, I also cut this length. This is the, this is the second kissing plenty that will be at the top. The same length that is the first one. The same thing that I also have here. So the same length. I also went ahead. I also I cut this uh, uh, 
net the length of this fabric is also what i also have here so i also went ahead and cut the line so i'll be turning it with my line and i will show you the final look the length that i have here i have nine here so this thing that you are seeing here i'm going to use one inch to turn the line i will use half inch to join it with the half body measurement so this one will have like seven and a half left with this one while the second one i'm going to have like ten and a half left after joining it with my lining so that's going to form my two step uh, two step kissing printing so after i've done i'm going to show you the final result of this our beautiful kissing printing blouse hi guys so as you can see i've gone ahead and joined the peplum stain no the peplum net on our flare on our kissing plinting flare i've gone ahead and joined the uh, peplum, peplum net on it i also went ahead and turned it out with my lining so as you can see look at how beautiful it is i also give it a good press this is the back side what well, this is the back side look at it i give it a good press i've ironed it so this is the one this is this is our second kissing plinting flare this is our second kissing plinting flare why this is the first one this is the one that will be at the upside why this one is the one i will be at the down part so what i did here i have already i have gone ahead and saw the half body mission the half body this is the half body of the blouse i also went ahead i have also fixed the sleeve i have fixed the sleeve so what i want to be showing you now is how to join the kissing plinting on this half body measurement so what i normally do is that if i want to join my uh, kissing print what i normally do i normally do then separate separate i don't do it i don't join it together and started doing my kissing print i don't do that what i do is that i will first of all carry this first one this first one i will print it round then i will not carry the second one again i will take it and place it i'll put this one at the other side i will not print it round again why I normally do that is because it helps this second side to be very beautiful because when you plant it, when you uh, when you top stitch it, when you top stitch the two together before planting it, you will find out that this second one, the kissing plenty will not come out at this second one very well. That is what I noticed. So that is why if I want to do my kissing plenty, what I normally do, I will first of all carry this first one. I will plant, I will plant this first one for the first day before I will not take the second one. I will not place it. I will place the second one exactly the place I place this first one. So that will not give me my, my kissing printer. And it will no, it normally come out beautiful whenever I do that, than top stitching the two together before placing it. I don't do that. So, what I will do now, I will start showing you how to do the kissing printing. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to sew it. I will sew it reach this dark side. I'm going to sew it from here. And I will leave like two inch from between here and the dark side. So, I will start to do my kissing printing. I will print it like this. So this is how you do your kissing plinting. It's a kissing plinting. You will plint one plinting to face the other side. As you can see, these two plinting are facing this other, facing the other plinting. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be putting this kissing plinting around this body measurement. This body, this half body sides. Look at it. Look at, I've chalked it. I'm going to place one here. Place another one here like this. I will place at the center. I'm going to place at this shock side. This I'm going to place around it. I will put kissing plenty around everywhere. All this place that I have chalk, I'm going to be putting kissing plenty. I will also come and put here. So that will be the end of the video. But I will come back and show you. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Do not forget to subscribe, like and share my video. I will be dropping the skirt video. If you want to see it, go and check it out. I will see you on my next video. Bye.